Hey guys, I am on Sunset Peak in Angeles National Forest. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to hike up here. It's, uh, it's a pretty easy hike. It's, it's a climb, but it's only 1,200 feet and it's seven and a half miles out and back. But along the way, you get these really beautiful panoramic views of a lot of the, uh, I don't know if you call them famous, the prominent peaks here in Angeles National Forest, forest from uh, Baldy, Telegraph, all the way over to Waterman and Strawberry on the other side. Really, really spectacular views as you climb up here. Now, if you're gonna do the hike, make sure you go to hikingguy.com. I have a link to the article under the video because the parking is a little tricky. And I'll give you some other tips on doing it that will be helpful before you head out the door. So check that out. And as always, if you're enjoying the video, if you find it helpful, if you could just say thank you by clicking the little thumbs up button on uh, YouTube, that helps me out a ton, helps other people find the video, hopefully know what to expect and do the hike safely. All right, guys, let's uh, head out on the trail to hike up the Sunset Peak. Okay, so the hike starts off of Cow Canyon Saddle. And the parking is a little bit tricky. There's actually a big lot that you're not allowed to park in, but you can park on the side of the road. And on the website, I'll talk all about that. But we're going to go up this little dirt road here, this Forest Service Road, around the Yellow Gate. And this is what the hike is going to be looking like until we get to the summit for the most part. It's a fire road, but down here it's pretty mellow. You can see it's pretty relaxed. There are no vehicles on it. And you're gonna get some great views down into um, Cow Canyon and Cattle Canyon. True, true names. Uh, and also the high peaks of Angeles National Forest as you climb up. And you can see once we get a little bit higher, the vegetation increases. And then after a little bit, you're gonna start seeing some uh, big pines and it really gives you like a mountain feel without being that far up in the mountains. You can see them here. Really, really beautiful. And, um, you know, in terms of fire roads, this is probably one of the best you can find around here. Now, there was a fire here in 2021 called the Antonio Fire. It only burned 50 acres, which doesn't seem like a lot, but you can really see the devastation on this trail. You can see the red fire retardant here, which hopefully will be gone by the time you get there, and some of the fire damage as we go through here. Kind of sad, but at least they contained it at 50 acres. Now, when you start to come around uh, the bends here, you can get some great views. You're gonna see Twin Peaks, Mount Waterman, uh, South Mount Hawkins, Mount Hawkins, Big Iron Mountain, Mount Baldy. And then if we come around over here, you can see um, Thunder Mountain and Telegraph Peak, part of the three T's. And it's probably my favorite thing about this hike is, uh, you know, its unique position gives you some really great views of all of the kind of superstar peaks of Angeles National Forest. Now here you can see some of the damage. This is kind of where the brunt of the fire burned up the slope here. Luckily, it's not all like this. There's only some sections, but uh, it is what it is. And after about two miles, you're going to come to a hairpin. There's actually a different road that comes in from the right. We're going to make the left and go up these long sweeping switchbacks. And if you watch what this looks like on a map, you can kind of see how it switchbacks up the mountain here. And in the beginning, there's some more fire damage, but then we leave that behind and there is some regular growth there. Now at the next switchback at about two and a half miles, if you look down, you're going to see the other trail that comes up here. There are a few ways to get up here. That's a much harder trail up the ridge, but you're going to get nice views of Baldy, Thunder, Telegraph, and then um, and, uh, Ontario Peak down there. And in the distance, down San Antonio Canyon, you'll be able to see uh, Saddleback Mountain down in Orange County. And we're going to keep on heading up here, and you can see it's more of the same. It actually levels out for a little section here. It's a nice gradual climb where you can kind of get into a nice cruising rhythm as you come up here. Here you can see some of that red down there. That's the fire retardant that aircraft have dropped on this. And again, hopefully that'll be gone and this will be starting to recover by the time you come out. Now, by the time you get up to the saddle here, there's some other roads that join in. We're going to make the left and go up to the peak. Now, head over to the right as, or sorry, to the left here. Don't go up the big bulldozer cut, but instead 
stay left and there's a trail that winds around that's small like this it's really much nicer than going up straight up to the peak and it's definitely less steep you're going to take this little trail and wind up around until you get to sunset peak area which is all cleared out there used to be a fire tower here and you can see the concrete um, base of it they sadly had to remove it in 1974 because the smog was too bad they couldn't see anything but if you continue down, um, you're going to see some of the summit signs, a little trail register, and then enjoy the great sweeping views over to Mount Baldy and the peaks around you. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a fun hike. Definitely get out here and give it a try if you have not already. And if you stick around for a second, I will show you what the hike looks like on a 3D map. But otherwise, guys, I will see you out on the peaks. All right, so here's the hike, and you're probably going to be driving up this road, San Antonio Canyon, towards Mount Baldy Village, which is right there, and then you go up Glendora Road. Now, the parking I mentioned can be a little bit tricky. There's this big lot right here, which is private property. You can't park there, but you can park along the side of the road, and I'll talk about that again in the guide. But here's that yellow gate, and we're going to be climbing right up along the ridge here, nice and gradual, and if I swing this around, this way. Look at that. There we go. You'll be able to see all of these high peaks over here. There's Twin Peaks, Waterman, uh, South Mount Hawkins, Mount Hawkins Ridge over here, all the way around to Baldy up there, and then around on this side. Thunder, Telegraph, you can't really see um, timber, but you can see Ontario for sure, which is up here. But anyway, let's get back. And there you can see down the, the valley as well. But let's get back down here to the trail and continue to go up. This is where we kind of wind around. You get those other views back into it. We have these long sweeping switchbacks here until we get around to the summit. And you can see I mentioned there was a junction here. We're going to make this turn. And I mentioned that... You could either kind of go up the steep section right to the summit, or you can go around the trail this way, which is a little bit more mellow. It's a little bit more of a single track until you get up here to the summit, where, of course, again, you have the views that I just showed you. There's Ontario, three T's over here, Lookout Mountain, Baldy Mountain, Mount Baldy, as I say, Big Iron, and all of the peaks that you've probably heard of and maybe you've hiked already. So that's the hike. And uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments on YouTube and I will do my best to answer them. All right, guys, I'll see you out there.